There are four types of candles on these charts that we care about out of six of them. There is a blue one, there is a yellow one, there is a white one, there is an orange one, there is neutral green, and then there is neutral red. Out of those, there are only two of them that we trade, and then we use the other two for entry and exit. Okay? All right. Before we take a lot of time, I be, actually, before I take a lot of your time, in today's, today's video, I just want to go through, I go over a few key important things here. Okay? I want to go through uh, what the week is going to look like. I want to go through what, uh, what point of the week, I mean, of the day, what kind of what time frame or what moment you should be trading and what moment you should not be trading and what moment is guaranteed so again on this chart this multicolored chart we only trade two kinds of candles or two colors of candles and those two colors of candles if timed properly or timed correctly it's a guarantee win always it's a guarantee win i can't guarantee you though uh, that your setup will make it work for you but on my way on my end it's always always an absolute win all right before wasting a lot of time again uh let's go ahead and get started um just to begin i would like to go ahead and get started we're looking at the weekly chart here on this weekly chart i want to go ahead and draw uh our recent swing high which is this week's higher high right there Okay, and then on that weekly high, I'm gonna go go ahead and draw a weekly. I mean, another swing low, uh, which of course there's a swing low here, which is very noticeable. But there are subtle swing lows that we are not seeing easily, and one of them is this one. And then uh, lastly of the swing lows, we are gonna go ahead and draw uh, this one right here. Okay, on this on this uh, candle. All right. On the candle types or on the candle colors that I've talked about, we trade the yellow candles on an uptrend. And then we trade the blue candles on a downtrend. And then we use the white candles as our entry for a call position. For example, we use the white candle our, as our entry on a call position that will be right here. We do use the white candle again as our entry, which this would have been a failed trade, but as you know already, not every trade is a winning trade. And then we would use our white candle here as our entry, okay? Once we see those white candles, we use those as our entry. On the other hand, if you're trading puts, we used the, we used the orange candles as our put entry. And again, we use the orange candles as our put entries. And once again, if you haven't noticed, not every trade is a winning trade. That's why this orange candle, we would have lost this trade. But as you already know, you know fair enough, well enough to trade with the with the, with a stop loss. So the stop loss would have saved you on those some of those failing trades. But again, here we're looking at a weekly chart, which means if you're trading those kind of options, those would have been um, options which are like two month two month out or at least a month out. Uh, just so you have that not enough time for that uh, security to move in your favor. Okay. All right. Let's take a look here. I'm going to go ahead. I wish I could just go ahead. Yeah, let me just go ahead and I wish I could actually just remove everything. Let me remove every single drawing here and we'll start afresh here. Uh, but what I'm going to do is just that I'm going to go ahead and relay this over. Uh, we already talked about some of these lines as our recent swing lows and swing highs. So I don't need to explain it one more time, but uh, I will talk about this further in the next uh, video here in a second. So uh, we have drawn these lines and uh, just to clarify, we will see that, uh, for example, here, we have this touching the previous uh, resistance over there. And uh, again, we do have that being our support level right here, um, of which I wish I could turn that into green to indicate support level which i don't know what that color is i think it's gray but we want green all right right here is indicating support level right there is indica was indicating a resistance level we have that and we this this is going to play a key role in the next shorter time frame uh last thing i want to do is below this white candle here i'm going to put another one there and actually let me paint that a different color uh i will paint it red even though that's not a resistance level 
let's paint it red for now okay if we go down into a shorter time frame let's go down into a daily chart okay on a daily chart on a daily chart we do see that actually let me reset the things a little bit here okay uh, now that we have reset this chart a little bit on a daily chart we do see that we are still meeting the criteria of not actually a criteria we're still uh, satisfying this uh, support level here and that resistance level of this week is still holding and we have that swing low over there is still holding as well okay so we haven't really missed a lot of points here but the only thing we need to do is adjust this red a little bit below that uh, below this level here so that we are at least capturing most of the most of the zones here okay so noticing that noticing that we have all this in place we do we do see that we actually really don't need to draw another uh, support and resistance le resistance level here although i would i would want to remind you or i do want to remind you that once again like i said earlier we do trade uh we use the white candles our as our entry okay we use the white candles as our entry and there's a there are moments that you really don't have to worry about how much you're going to lose and one of those moments is when this triangular moving average by triangular moving average i'm referring to this green and red line here this is a, a triangular moving average um so when this triangular moving average is above the 50 period uh moving average or a 50 week period 50 period weekly um, moving average or that blue line if that is above it and we get a signal that is a very very strong signal there is a very very minimal minimal uh, risk uh, in involved in this and then if we take a look at if we take a look at the uh, the histogram oops actually let me uh, clean my chart a little bit I realize that I'm still in this drawing mode which I can only get out of it if I draw something stupid and then exit out of it. Okay. With that in mind, all right, where we are, where are we? So uh, with this in mind, we know that when we get a signal like that, we that's our entry and we are about 50 period moving average. We are at a point where uh, the momentum, the, the momentum, uh, the volume here, um, is low for it's very low for a bear bear momentum in for for a bear trend it's quite very low and we do see that um there is a chance because this is turning from deep red into a dark red i mean from pale red to a dark red meaning that the trend itself is changing okay that would have been a perfect entry even with, without confirming that because the volume right here is quite very low there's a very low momentum so that would have been a perfect entry okay we do get that and once we got that we would have entered that trade stayed in that trade on a daily chart if you're if you're you know that would have been like a month out uh, option and um the, you do see that yesterday we did get this uh call signal right here which means if you bought the call toward the end of the day yesterday uh this today would have been a, a an excellent day for you because like again like we said we buy on a white candle if you're trading calls and then um, we buy on an orange candle if you're trading puts, okay? But the candle has to be on the other side of the line at least, at least on one on the other side of one of these two lines, okay? Uh, so considering how how powerful the the price is moving on an uptrend, I would focus more on a call option than on a put option, okay? So with that in place or with that in mind, let's go ahead and move down into a four-hour time frame. Okay, on a four hour time frame, we do see, um, let's see here, what do we see? On a four hour time frame, we do see that those those uh, swing lows which we drew early are still holding, okay? And the, the line that we drew here, which was a white candle, those are actually fair value gaps, okay? We had a run on this zone, which those run turned out to be a fair value gap, and that just made everything better, okay? Uh, although we do see a little consolidation uh, towards towards the the end of the you know uh, yesterday, we did see a little bit of consolidation, but that was not bad at all. Actually, yesterday and the day before, uh, that was not bad at all. Uh, but considering that we just came down and hit this resistance level from the previous week, um, and which became of course our support level down here. 
we bounce off or we got rejected off that level. And that's when we broke the previous, I mean, the all time higher high. Okay. After breaking that, we're still sitting on that all time higher high with seven, I mean, 577 being uh, our current resistance level. And we do see that our support level is, uh, is right around uh, the 72 as of today. Uh, should be around the 72, right? Uh, uh, right, right around here. Um, so, because if we look at this candle right here, it's at 72. So uh, our support level is right around the 72, uh, corresponding to this uh, September 19th. So with that in mind, so yeah, we do have that 72 level, uh, 572 as our support level, and we do have that. So that that they have, there's going to be some scenarios that we're going to look at here. What happens if we break further uh, beyond the 577, and what happens when we break further lower beyond the the 572? Okay, so stay tuned for stay tuned for that, and I will share with you actually one very important thing: my ultimate strategy, which of, well, not I've already talked a little bit about it, but the ultimate mega strategy that I use for winning a lot of my trades, uh, in a moment here. Okay, on a four-hour chart, we we have seen what's going on. We are still bullish, uh, quite very bullish. Uh, if we take a look at one hour, or actually rather one edge, if we come down to one edge, we will see that on a one edge. Um, we are still bullish, but there is some consolidation going on here. Uh, we uh, consolidated consolidated a little bit, uh, and this is right about the moment where I start probably spilling the beans. But um, if you are keen enough, if you are keen enough, you could note that uh, on this date, or not or not really this date, in this at this level right here, and also at that level right there where we hugged this line here we did have what we call a double bottom this double bottom is an indicator or is a strong indicator of a bull run okay this in the, this double bottom is a strong indicator of a bull run and vice versa if you see and here was another double bottom uh, if you're wondering what a double bottom is a double bottom is when you reach some uh resistance level on some on one direction and then uh get a little pullback and go back and retest that level and go back the other way around so in this case we did have uh, a bearish move and then uh that was rejected right around here okay and that rejection we had a pullback a little bit towards that level over there which was um Again, we came back from that level and retested right here. And then after retesting that level, it was when we were able to um, make a reversal to the uptrend, meaning we took that trend and rode that trend from there, from this, from this, um, from this bear uh, stretch here, we had a, had a U-turn around it and made a bull run out of it. So this is a double bottom right here. So you see a so you, when you see a double bottom, you want to make uh make a note of a potential bull run. We had that potential bull run. That potential potential bull run was seen was seen again a few days ago. And if you take a look here, this was a double bottom. We got this double bottom. We had a bull run, and that bull run is what is still taking place. And again here, here's another scenario. If you take a look at this chart carefully, you will see that. We do have, on this line, we have a, a double bottom right here and right there, which if you looked at the chart yesterday, you, sh you should have or you could have noticed this really easily that we had a double bottom. We did have a double bottom here. And of course, a day before, we also did have a double bottom uh, of some kind, okay? Because we came back to, we came to this line, we got rejected, went back up and uh you know uh, the pullback was not for long and then we came and test retested this line as a double bottom and that pulled up that the next day was a gap up uh, or a gap to the upside and that gap to the upside really just brought things um to this situation where we had a uh, another you know we had another pullback to the downside or to the bear which created this this current uh double bottom and that eventually um was an indicator of a perfect trade of today okay 
Now, this is the point where I bring everything to life. Since you're still here, what I want to share with you is so normally on a on a on a day like this, I like to trade actually. I like to trade a sh on my shorter time frame. Let's take a look. First of all, before I go to my shorter time frame, let's take a look at the 30 minute chart. Well, 30 minute chart is holding that double bottom right here or right there. Um, so we do have it, you know, the current currently we have a top right here. Okay, on a 30 minute chart. We did pull back out of that top right here a little bit. We are sitting on the other end of that top right there. That actually becomes a double top if you're wondering that becomes a double top although that's quite on a very shorter time frame and regard considering that we do have a buying a buy signal on that last candle that is concerning but you do see how that is a reversal uh, hammer okay uh i think uh, it's actually a, sh a shooting star as other people would like to would like to call it so uh, that candle right there is bearish. Is a bearish sign, and of course, a double top is a good candle for a bear move. That means we would expect a little bit of a pullback here, because just a little bit of pullback, because the old the old trend is very bullish for it to be really bearish at any point of time. Okay, so there there, there might be a little slight pullback here from what we're seeing, or however, or however. If we do break above this 577, we are targeting the 580 or 585 level. Okay, we are targeting that 585 level or 580, uh, which would be uh, if we if we took if we're taking a look at it, uh, 580 would be right around here. Oops, I thought actually I grabbed the drawing. Uh, 580 would be right around here. Let's let's call it that, or 585, which would be uh, quite quite an extreme. But uh, give it time. If we are bullish enough, we would reach that 585 there. So uh, those are the two levels that we will be looking at uh, if we do break above that. But um, I am expecting a slight pullback here because of that double top that I am kind of I kind of visualizing. Uh, so with that in mind, let's take a look here. So how would I trade these days? The way I would trade these days is first of all, first rule of thumb: I make sure that. I'm above the 50 period moving average. I'm above the triangular moving average of TMA. And more importantly, I will go ahead and turn on one thing, which the one thing is high Kenashi candles, uh, candle chart pattern. I'm going to turn on that. Once I turn on the high Kenashi, you do see that my entry or my buy entry becomes very clear to me, which is right there. I am above everything. At least I'm above those two lines, even though the histogram is red the volume on the, on the histogram is very weak compared to what was before it and 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 just the activities of volume before it okay the volume is very weak compared to the previous the recent previous session okay um and then what i would do is yeah i would i would i would go ahead and just enter this trade right here on this candle and just write that as long as i'm above that however as long as i see as soon as I see the doji start to form, I exit the trade. I see the doji forming, I enter the trade. Uh, on a shorter time frame, which is a seven minute chart, if I because I like to trade a seven minute chart. On a seven minute chart, again we do have this doji. I mean, this double bottom on a seven minute chart. That's like that's a good entry. We did get a signal over there, but that signal was not so great because uh, if you had gotten that into that signal, we, we would have been booted depending on how you have your trading. Um, stop loss, but I like to put my trading stop loss on a previous swing low, which this swing low is our line here. So I would trade that and then just get booted out with a stop loss. And right there, we do have the signals that we cross over and we will just stay on the trade. Anyhow, with all that in mind, if you have watched these videos and you have liked the analysis, please just uh, go ahead and like, subscribe, and you know, leave a comment, ask questions, and also share with me what what you think would be your uh, you know. Uh, what you would uh, prefer to see as uh, see me cover, or what you would like me to see me uh, would like me to cover and talk about, so we can we can share common ideas and grow together on this platform. As far as trading uh, life is concerned, so go ahead and uh, leave a like, uh, share this video, and subscribe to the channel, and check me back later for more free content that is more educative. Okay, see you all later.
have a good time and lucky time trading. Happy trading. Bye.